guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how I uh, spring clean my kitchen. So as you can see I uh, start with the first cupboard and I pull out everything out of it. And uh, what I do, what I'm doing right now is I'm going through the medication and trying to figure out which one expired. Then I usually wash the, the little basket that I store everything in it and I wipe down the shelves which I did prior to that and um, yeah it's a good way I do this about every six to seven weeks and it's a good way to um, make sure that you know all your medication is up to date and you you don't if you're missing something you can add to it I am using the method it's a everyday wood cleaner and I like to do that when I'm dusting the cupboards and things like that um, I'm not cleaning the fronts because um, I usually do that every, once a week on my regular kitchen cleaning day so right now what I did is I'm emptying uh, things that I stored here and they are measuring cups measuring spoons citrus presses lids for my glass containers which are underneath it and my scale so underneath it I have measuring cups, um, glass, small glass containers and things like that. So I just take everything out and I wipe down the cupboards. And underneath it I store my tea mugs. I like the steep teas, so loose, loose leaf tea mugs. So um, I store them as well as drinking glasses on that side. So, and to clean the inside of the cupboards, I am using the method all-purpose cleaner. So. <clears throat> and uh, right now, I'm cleaning underneath the cupboard. And when I do that, uh, if there is stuck on grime and things like that, I use uh, the Norwax paste. It works great. It's natural. And it really, truly gets the, the stuff that's stuck on there off of it. Um, I do not, not, I'm not a big fan of cleaning the hood, the fan, because I find from cooking and things like that it gets really, really yucky. Even if I'm cleaning it every six to seven weeks, it does get pretty messy. Um, I usually, I just remove the rag, but I put the rag over top of my stove so when I'm using the paste, the water doesn't drip all over it. Over on this side, I have my uh, salad, glass salad bowls, and my huge collection of Disney mugs that I use for coffee. I only drink out of one. I do not know why I have. I think I'm up to about 25 now. I don't have all of them in that cupboard, but I do have a pretty big collection in there. Um, I also have a um, shelf divider. I'm not quite sure how what that's called. Uh, but I can make it two levels uh, for my plates. I put my plates underneath it and I have a shelf that goes over it and I put my bowls on it. As you can see, I'm wiping it down now. So, and I keep my big plates and my small plates on that shelf. The middle shelf um, with the glass door is a more of a decorative shelf. And uh, so I what I have in here as you can see I emptied it I also took all the greenery out of it as you can see this is what was in there it's just to add some white to into my kitchen because it's so dark um, and I just dust them all with a damp rag and then I dust the shelf and I put everything back <clears throat> And I also use uh, the glass cleaner is a method glass cleaner that I use to clean the glass on the inside. My little small shelf that you see there is, is where I keep all my uh, salt, pepper, my baking soda, baking powder, my seasoning that I use the most, and my coconut oil. And then the following cupboard holds all my pasta and my rice and I have it all in its own containers and you kind of just go through the same process where I clean the cupboards 
on the inside and I cleaned the door drawers and also the little decorative um, crown molding is it called or I does that and also dust underneath the microwave and then I moved over here I just realized my camera cut out but over here I have um, little I think they're lit dividers but I use them to keep my cutting boards and I put a salad spinner in there as well I'm pretty tall so I can reach it I could see some people might not be able to reach certain things up high especially cutting boards and things like that in the cupboard above the fridge I just have some protein protein powders uh, croutons and then I have a box of uh, plastic cups plastic plate it's a uh, paper plates and uh, some napkins so as you saw I took the greenery down I, there was also one in the corner and I put it in a tub and I clean it with some soap and water um, it gets quite smelly from all the cooking so here I moved well I am moving pretty fast on this thing um, I, <laughs> I'm cleaning underneath I have a big arrow system bottle there or, or a container canister I don't even know tank um, so I have limited space as to what I can put in there but I keep all my um, cleaning supplies in there and all my um, dishwashing supplies there like bottle cleaners and things like that as well as extra soaps my dishwashing soap and I hang my uh, rags to dry there as well so as you can see and I usually just wash the the little containers dust them if need be there's always some soap up. see it looks really nice and neat underneath okay so I hate these metal shelves with everything in me but I try and make them work as the best as I can I use pamper chef stones so uh, and I use the dividers for them which work pretty good um, so some of them don't like the big square baker doesn't fit so I just keep it on the shelf on its own and this is a must you have to clean it because from all the stone grime from the bottom it just kind of goes on the shelf I don't use shelf liners I wasn't born to know how to use these things so um, my drawers suffer for that but I honestly cannot put those in in a drawer if my life depended on it so I just don't use them my kitchens about 11 years old now and uh, they are starting to look its age I guess but um, I have to deal with it because I've tried the shelf liners and it just does not work for me okay so okay so we move on to a junk drawer and uh, I just pretty much take everything out go through everything see what doesn't belong there throw it out or put it where it goes I wipe down the the cupboard uh, the drawers after so as you can see my as I was saying earlier the drawers are pretty um, I guess the paints rubbed off from scrubbing them and things like that and they're a little bit stained from pens and whatnot but overall they're fine so clean all around them then I clean the plastic containers wipe them down go through it and I just keep things like hand sanitizers little screwdrivers that I might need some change uh, my essential oils for my uh, room vaporizer I forget what it's called um, that I use for after cooking so the room smells good some hair ties hair clips and things like that 
and as well as pens, permanent markers, anything that I would need for the everyday. So tape, sticky notes, notepads, elastics, rubber elastics, plastic rubber elastics, I think that's what they're called, and scissors. Then underneath that drawer, I have my tea collection drawer. And I have all, I keep all my tea tins in here. Um, so same thing, wipe it down. And then I put everything back. I've got my matcha frother, all my David's tea collection, my Tijuana tea. And then my tea supplies, spoon, the perfect spoon, steepers, and things like that. This drawer holds my Ziploc bags and my oven mitts. So I just wipe it down, clean it up, and put things back. It's a bit of a puzzle to put things back in, but they all fit in. On the bottom drawer, I keep all my cleaning rags and my dish rags, as well as my apron. And same thing goes for that. I wipe it down and then I put everything back. And then over on this side is the cutlery drawer. And I wash the cutlery holder and I wash the drawer. And then I put everything back as well as I keep my food clips and the little brown scrubbies for the stones that come with Pampers Chef. I struggled finding on the right size for this uh, cutlery holder so the one that I have is fairly small, it works, but I would like to find one that works, uh, fits perfectly. I think it prevents f from things falling in between. Uh, with the garbage bins, I keep my recycling and my garbage over here, and I take the bins out, I wash them, and disinfect them, and then I take apart the holder. And the same thing, I clean everything out, spray it down, and then clean it up again, wipe it down, and then put things back in. I wash my garbage bins every time. Well, I rinse them out every time. I change the garbage and the recycling, but I don't go into as much detail as I do right now. So, And I find things always fall behind or beside it and things like that. So, now, f fun times. So once I finish that, uh, I move on to the corner, another one of my favorites, where I have bins that hold, I think I have two bins. One holds my um, Ninja, and the other one holds my handheld mixer, as well as my handheld uh, blender. And um, on the bottom, I keep all my pots and pans, as well as a lid holder with all the lids. This one does get quite messy, too, for some reason, from all the um, bottom of the pots and things like that. So I have to give it a good scrub and scrub it down. And then once I'm done, I take everything out from the bins, like from the mixer bins and the blender bins. And I wash the bins up, and then I put everything back in, in its own place. And back on the shelf it goes. Then once I put everything back um, over in the corner shelf, I move on and I put things in my big drawer. I pull everything out. This is where I keep my big knives and all my other kitchen tools I guess or utensil tools. Um, I keep my meat tenderizer, my vegetable peelers, um, avocado, spoon and things like that in here. And I had bought these uh, yellow containers at our dollar store and they actually fit in quite well leaving room for uh, the my big knives to go uh, just in a drawer on the, on the end. So I take everything out, I wipe all the containers down and then I put them put everything back in. So and a lot of my 
like shears and my pizza cutters and things like that have um, little sleeves that go over them and they always seem to get in this place so I put all that stuff in together and back in the drawer. I just recently switched it to the big drawer. I used to have all my cutlery in this drawer but uh, it was nice to be able to switch it all back in into the big drawer where it actually fits better. Then I move on to my uh, um, Tupperware drawer. This is for school lunches and school snacks where I pretty much do the same thing. Take everything out, wipe everything down. At the bottom one I put um, my glass, big glass bowls uh, for food storage as well as some of my other Tupperware. And same thing goes, I wipe it all down and then put everything back in. One of the I think one of the things that takes me the longest is to clean up this pantry which is a never-ending mess so same thing I pull everything out I keep on my top drawer I keep all my oatmeals and my cereals and um, that, that always ends up having lots of crumbs in it so I wipe everything down the next shelf underneath it has snacks and bread and I keep my coffee jar in there as well. And then the third one underneath is my spice rack, well, or my spice drawer. And I used, uh, you will see soon, um, mason jars in it. And um, I labeled mason jars on top, so that way I can see what's in each uh, mason jar for spices. I also have my big club packs of garlic powder, paprika, and I think it's chili powder yes so and same thing I clean it up I like the mason jars I think they keep the uh, seasonings fresh in there so and then uh, my la last two drawers my second last drawer holds my uh, baking supplies and my sweeteners and my bottom drawer um, holds my onions and my potatoes so then I take all the shelves out and I wipe down the whole pantry and then once that's done, I put all the shelves back in and put everything in its place. I wipe down the bottom of the jars and the top of the jars. And I wrote with a permanent marker, so usually that doesn't come off while I'm wiping it. And I like the way, I do like the way that looks. So, I have a container for bread that I put bread in. I actually, for snacks, more or less. It was supposed to be for bread, but snacks end up being in there because we don't eat a lot of bread most of my bread is in the freezer but sometimes I do have a loaf of bread that ends up being in there but most of the time it's snacks and I use a little snack uh, Ziploc bags that I like to separate snacks into and over here as you can see um, I have these metal containers that used to <clears throat> hold loose leafy and I kind of wrapped them up with a shelf liner to make them look prettier and I keep like my coconut in there, my dark chocolate, chocolate, my coco my shredded coconut, my dark chocolate, and um, things like that in there. I like reusing them if I can. And then I have a little container that I keep all the sweeteners together. So it's honey, stevia, I think I have xylitol, and sugar in there. So as you can see on the, the video, and then over here I have my onion keeper, and then, which is from Tupperware, and my um, potatoes. So here's a closer look as to what the drawer looked like. And then I moved the stove out of the way. I was going to do that with the fridge, but I was worried I was going to tip it, so I just used it on the stove. 
Uh, so I just did the stove um, to show you guys, and I did the fridge when my husband was home to help me out. So I sweep the floors. There's always things, spatula or something that falls behind. But I sweep it up. I wipe down the sides of the stove. And as you can see, there's a big blob of uh, sauce that got there. I'm not quite sure how, but it's there. And then I um, wipe everything down. I wipe the floor down, and then I put it back in. Well, I hope he, this video was helpful. Oh, actually, I forgot that I also go up and clean all the light fixtures, wipe down the my big clock and also baseboards and uh, frames around the windows and my chairs and my table and my helpers right under the table always my trusted psychic. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you liked it and if you did please like and subscribe. Thank you.